I want to be an analyst here. And I just wanted to let you know that I'm excited about this opportunity. Thank you for letting me interview with you today. And do you know when you'll be making your decision? It doesn't have to be, look, do I have the job? It can be something as simple and soft as that. So, you know, I know that I've interviewed here today. Thank you so much for your time. I really appreciate it. I just want to know, do you know when you'll be making your decision? Yeah, Zach, we're, gonna, we're thinking about next week. Okay. And we'll get into that during the close. So finally, the last phase. What do I do after the job interview? A lot of people think it's time to mail it in. You prepared, you've done your mock interviewing, you practice questions, you've got your situations down, you've done it all, you're ready to go, it's in and it's time to grab that beer on a Friday and watch Tennessee Balls lose on Saturday, right? <laughs> so, the post-interview follow-up is critical. And I know hiring manager after hiring manager that if you don't do post-interview follow-up, you're not getting the job. It's as simple as that you're not gonna get the job, especially when the job's competitive. So what does it look like? You mind reading that for me again? I know I've been picking on you a lot, but you're right up here. Dear Ms. Smith, thank you for interviewing me today. Have a good weekend. Don't drink too much like I will this weekend. Talk to you later. Pete. <laughs> <laughs> so this was an actual thank you letter submitted from a professional with a four-year degree. So, you said talk to you later. I actually had to Google this. Because I was like, what the heck does TTYL mean? No, these are not good thank you letters. And another thing that people are doing on thank you letters, Google thank you letter, print. They don't even change the name of the dead gum company. So they're interviewing for Coca-Cola and it says Georgia Pacific on it. And it says Ron when I'm Zach. This is an actual thank you letter written by a very good looking applicant. It was me. Um, <laughs> so, I just got this position as, in management at pharmaceuticals and ophthalmology, and I went down to the wire. It was me and three other candidates. And one of them had 25 more years of experience than I did. Heck, I didn't even think I was getting the job. So I interviewed with six people for 10 hours. And I later find out through when now that I have the job, some insider information. It was down between me and one other candidate. And they didn't know who to pick. And guess what differentiated me from the competition? This. So I'm not gonna read the whole thing, 